Yo, what is up, guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel. And we are now playing the official Black Ops Cold War Alpha. It is finally live now on September the 18th. So we're going to go ahead and jump into some games here. And let's go ahead and see how day one treats us. Alrighty, so guys, we were finally able to get into a game. There is a little error message or something that shows up on your screen. It says something along the lines of you can join the game session in progress. Um, again, that's a little bug. I would just keep searching and searching like I did, and eventually you'll find a match here. Um, hopefully the lobby doesn't close because that would be pretty uh, crazy. And hey, we got my boy Johnny Sins here. I see this man all the time in Call of Duty. He really puts in that work. He's always in a bunch of games, so... Uh, Johnny Sins, shout out to you, man. So first ever game we're going to be playing is Miami Team Deathmatch. Miami is my favorite map that I've seen so far in the alpha. Um, I just love the nighttime Miami Vice theme. It looks very beautiful. And yeah, hopefully the, the map plays out really, really well. I like how we have like more control within the like loading screen. We can kind of like see, you know, the lobby here. Here's the little introduction scene. Looks so, so beautiful and clean. Gonna be running with the MP5 first. MTC is live. Bring the hammer down. Okay, currently I do not see my arrows on here on the mini map. Pulling ahead. Okay, okay, okay. First kill. Ah! That was too close. What the hell? It's my teammate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't see teammates' names over. That, okay, that's 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 just gonna this is gonna be an issue. Yeah, this this is gonna be a big issue. Oh man. Yeah, teammates' names are not shown above uh, above the players. That's pretty scary. Oh, oh I hate this so much. Oh, wait, what the heck? The game wasn't even started yet. I, I am big confusion. Okay, so that really threw me off. Oh my god, okay. Man, I'm over here thinking like, dang, I'm doing good. I do have two eliminations from that though, which I, I'm legit like confused, but I'll, I'll take it, whatever. Sliding already feels like so much more faster compared to Modern Warfare, hands down. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, we need to find ourselves a gun. There we go. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, good stuff, man. I can tell you right now, footsteps are insanely loud, y'all. But in terms of like how this game feels, it definitely feels like a Treyarch game. But it does have that Modern Warfare feel to it a little bit. That That's definitely thrown in there. I'm not going to lie. Footsteps are crazy loud. Okay, that was a guy. People upstairs. Are they? They're definitely upstairs. Oh, never mind. They're right here. Okay. Dang. Dude, that, that's a great spot for snipers. If I had a sniper, dude. Whew. Speaking of snipers. Ah, he got me. Man, this this map is just beautiful. I, I love the theme of it so much. Damn. I never knew how open this map really is. Okay, so the, I didn't get a uh, uh, an animation for the elimination. I don't know what that is, but it is scary. Um, but yeah, no no elimination animation. Let's go. Spider implementing surveillance operation. Yo, man, this team's going to work. I hear footsteps, man. Let's 
Ah! No. Almost there. Hold fast, people. Yeah, this game definitely does feel like a Treyarch Call of Duty for sure, which is really, really nice. Oh, okay game. Oh. Alrighty, so guys, we're going to be hopping into a Satellite TDM game. Now, Satellite was also shown in the uh, reveal, and to be honest, this really isn't my favorite map that was shown to us because of how wide open it is. Um, but we got to play it out first, see how it plays out, you know? We're going to be using the AR this time. Yeah, there's just these long range lines of sights here that that uh, you definitely do need an AR for. Or a sniper. A sniper would be deadly on this map too. Thank you. Ooh. Whoop. Oh, good stuff. Ah! He's down. I hear an RCXD. I think that's our teammates. Yeah, it is. He's following me. Lead me to them. I see you. Adler requesting spy plane on grid. Okay. My god, dude. Yeah, this this whole right side is sniper heaven. That is... Yeah, you want to stay away from that right side if you're uh, trying to make any pushes. Don't think that will go too well. Oh, nade. No! Trying to find a good place to call in this artillery barrage, but dang. Oh wait, I don't know why for some reason I thought this was like the cluster is, but... Fuck you. Okay, we got you with it. Damn, okay, well, he, he gets a quad with his. What? Tagged him. Oh, man. Teammate. Help. Keep applying pressure. We're ahead. Move enemy field, Mike. Yeah, snipers are gonna love this part of the map. We almost win, boys.
Yeah, we won. So guys, those were my very first two games I've ever played of the Black Ops Cold War Alpha Live. And now I'm going to give you my thoughts about the Alpha and adjust my initial impressions. But before I get into that, in the gameplay you're watching, I do go 37 and 9 on the map Moscow, which is the third and final map in the 6v6 rotation. And we're going to be using the AK-47. Um, in my opinion, I think it's one of the strongest guns so far in the Alpha. Um, but the base MP5 and the uh, XM4 are also pretty solid as well. But the AK-47, I think, is just uh, overall the best gun to use in the game. I believe I was a few kills off a of nuclear before I died. I do get a chopper gunner, though. However, score streaks are terrible on Moscow. And I didn't want to die while I'm inside of the chopper. So I exit out of it and I tried to work on getting the nuclear. Didn't go out so well. But yeah, hopefully uh, you guys do enjoy the gameplay. It's really nice to sit back here and, and just record a gameplay commentary i feel like i'm doing this like back in the black ops 1 modern warfare 2 days and now for my initial reactions thoughts impressions etc for being a call of duty alpha it's not that bad now there are a couple of bugs that i've noticed one of them is with the motion blur which was also pointed out by my friend diabetes over on twitter but if you disable motion blur in the settings there is currently a bug that will still enable it after every single game you play so maybe from now on get into the habit of checking that out after every game you play um, but to me the game literally feels like a Treyarch game it feels like a Treyarch Call of Duty which is nice to you know see because I was very worried that the game would feel and play too much like Modern Warfare but it does not exclude the fact that the game does have a hint of Modern Warfare in it you can definitely tell that it's using some parts of the Modern Warfare engine but the game itself definitely feels like a Treyarch style Call of Duty game which I am so so happy to you know see because I was worried again that it would feel too much like Modern Warfare it would feel too much like an Infinity Ward game um, but yeah don't really have to worry about that too too much now in terms of the time to kill it feels similar to Black Ops 4 maybe just slightly faster which I don't really mind too much because I personally enjoyed the Black Ops 4 multiplayer but like with Black Ops 4 snipers are insanely scary strong in this alpha build like absolutely strong if a sniper misses their first shot on you you'd better pray you hit all of your bullets on that sniper or you better run away from that engagement because again snipers are insanely OP in my opinion I think they should get a little bit of a nerf in terms of like the aim assist that they may have the damage too, maybe just slightly, um, but yeah, sniper's very, very good. Footstep audio too is crazy loud. Like I can literally hear where somebody is gonna be coming from. And I'm talking like their exact location, not just the general vicinity around me. If somebody's, you know, walking around me, I know exactly where they're gonna be coming from. So the audio is crazy good as well. Uh, sliding to me feels faster than a modern warfare. I don't know if that was supposed to be intended or what, but sliding definitely does feel faster. The score streak system gave a lot of people some worries at the very start when it was announced. And I'll be honest with you guys, it's not that bad. It really isn't. I think this new system is a nice little change up after working with the same thing for years now. Um, some people were worried that, oh, it's going to reward bad players and give them all the best streaks, even though they really didn't earn them, which is not true at all. I've had teammates and even myself go below average at times in games. And the only thing I'll get is like a spy plane, maybe an artillery if I absolutely play heavy OBJ. But guys, the score streak system really is not that bad at all, I promise. The maps, the map designs are okay to me. Um, they definitely feel like a Treyarch style map. But what I don't like is how open some of these maps are. Like there's a lot of different rooftops where people can snipe you from or shoot you from and they can cross map you. There's just not a whole lot of cover. So you really do have to play the sides pretty smart and tactically. But in general, the maps are okay. They're, they don't stand out to me, if that makes sense. They're just average at best. But I have to wait and see what other stock maps are like in Black Ops Code, where hopefully more of them will, you know, stand out to me, become impressionable. The only one that is somewhat impressionable is Miami because Miami is just so gorgeous. And I love the Miami Vice nighttime theme map. I really, really do. Now I do have one 
big, big gripe, and it's with the wild card Lawbreaker. I think Lawbreaker is the best wild card to use in the game, and I don't see any reason to run any of the other wild cards because Lawbreaker allows you to use any of the weapons and any perks in any slot you like. So what I do is I run Ghost and Ninja, uh, but you can use Cold Blooded as well, but I choose to use Tracker instead, which by the way, I think Tracker footsteps need to be adjusted because the footsteps look way too too dark especially on maps like Moscow and Satellite but yeah Lawbreaker is a crazy good wild card to use because it lets you become pretty much invisible to the spy plane spam and the other streaks if you pair it up with Ghost and Cold Blooded. Ninja is also good too because it will make your sprints more quiet and yeah I could see this being a big issue when the game does come out but yeah Lawbreaker should get looked at by the developers. It will for sure get banned in competitive I could see that happening but for multiplayer it could be a pretty big issue so Again, guys, as an alpha build for Call of Duty, it's not that bad. It really isn't. I'm having a decent, enjoyable time. But please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.